is up my panthers out there it's up is coming at you guys live for another video today I'm gonna be showing you guys a video on blue of course so it's always gonna be blue but anyways I'm running into a little slight of a situation and I'm kind of thinking it might have been caused by me cleaning my valves but I'll leave that one to you guys because I think personally that's probably what it is and it the carbon just got up in there and it really messed it up but I'm gonna go ahead and shoot that clip to you guys right now Also, I'm also going to be shooting the clip of the exhaust sound. I did one with my GoPro, and that's with me driving normally. And then I also did a just a stop rev type of noise coming out of the muffler. So if you guys notice something different, let me know down in the comment section down below. Maybe you guys have a better idea why she's idling a little bit more weirdly than what she's supposed to be. So you guys are the ones that are going to be able to tell me what the problem is related to. And hopefully we can figure this out together. As far as that goes though guys, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. I have been putting it together. Sorry, I usually upload on Monday, but today is a new day. Alright guys, so we're in the middle of nowhere right now. We're actually right there by that Walmart sign. I don't remember what this city is called, but we went ahead and drove out here just to show you guys a little bit about Blue and where everywhere we're at. You guys already seen that scenery out here. It's a little bit different, but a lot more nicer. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys something here. If you guys look inside this cylinder right here, you can see like there's some type of gunk in there or something I don't know what that stuff is but if we go to the next one it's clean this one's clean that one's clean hmm. I don't know what what is that stuff that's it's hard to determine that could be oil linking through to this one or this is the reason why my car has been idling weirdly this could be the problem right here so I'm gonna check this spark plug out definitely um, I do need to clean this motor though, it's really, really filthy. But once I get that covered, I'm definitely gonna do that. But let's go ahead and check them out and then I'll let you guys know with the update. All right guys, so I pulled the spark plug out. And as you can tell, there's oil and a lot of oil on this head, on the spark plug, period. So, I don't know. That, that's a hard one. I don't know if I should uh, contact Ford. Maybe maybe this cylinder over here is bad. Uh, it's a hard one, man. It is spitting, if it's spitting a lot of oil like that when it shouldn't be, there might be a problem here. Because, all the, like I said, all the rest of these are clean. And I can, I'm going to actually pull another one out and I'll show you guys that this one right here is clean. This one on the other hand is not and I is spark plug number two let me get it closer to the wall so that's spark plug number two so as you guys can tell there's really not a lot of oil on this one really not a lot compare it to that's a lot of oil guys I mean it goes all the way down to the center that is a lot of oil so I don't know these are pretty, pretty new to be doing that. All right, guys. So that pretty much wraps it up with blue. 
I'm really curious of what that stuff was on my spark plug. I'm thinking maybe it might have been some gasoline. Might have just rose itself up there and then bam, that's when it started flooding. But now I'm experiencing a little bit of bogging. So now what I gotta do is I gotta pull the spark plugs back out and I gotta lower how much gap is in between that spark. So I'm gonna probably put it down to maybe maybe 36, maybe 35 would be right where the manual says it's supposed to be. Right now I currently have it at 45, which also the manual said, but if it's bogging like that, then obviously it's not getting enough spark to burn off that fuel that's coming in and that, and that air. So what I basically what I gotta do is pull those out, get them fixed, and then the next video, I'll let you guys know if the bogging goes away which I do pray. I really do. But anyways guys, if it ain't tough, it's not worth building. My name is Tough Builds. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, remember, smack that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell on the side so you get notified when good content like this comes out live to you guys. Also, don't forget to smash that like button. If this video depressed you, go ahead and smash that thumbs down. But always leave a comment down in the section down below and share it with all friends and family. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!